Hi everyone, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to Assessment for Adult Learning. In this second video of Module 2, we will examine the various purposes or functions of assessment. Specifically, we will look at how formative, diagnostic, and summative assessment are used in three different ways. Assessment for learning, assessment of learning, and assessment as learning. As you read the following analysis questions, pause the video and think about the possible answers you have. As you go through the video, note how your answers may change or evolve. Students often think assessment is about achieving good grades or getting a passing grade or to graduate. Some students link assessment to getting a promotion or making more money. You may use assessment to see how much you think you've learned or use assessment to help clarify your understandings. Assessment has many purposes, but traditionally, assessment is associated within a summative context, such as getting an A grade or passing an exam. In Module 1, we discovered the purpose of assessment is to monitor and improve student learning. We also examined summative, formative, and diagnostic assessment. These are the three types of assessment used to gather evidence of student learning. Once we have a basic understanding of the types of assessment, we can explore why we assess. There are three reasons. First, assessment is used for student learning. An example of this is the feedback provided in our weekly tutorial sessions. This allows students to check their learning and allow the facilitator to check students' learning. Assessment is also used as a form of learning. This refers to the idea that students learn by doing or completing the assignment. An example of this is the process of working on a PBL assignment. Importantly, learning as assessment also refers to self-reflection or thinking about the assessment as a way to learn. Finally, there is assessment of student learning. An example is the end product of a PBL assignment or the peer skills assignments. These provide evidence of learning. Summative assessments are used to measure student learning, skills acquisition, or academic achievement at the conclusion of a defined instructional period. This could happen at the end of a unit of learning, project, or semester. A summative assessment reflects the learner's summative or cumulative learning within a specified time. Summative assessments respond to the questions, did the student learn what they were expected to learn? And to what degree did the students meet the learning objectives? And by implementing summative assessment, it provides accountability. Summative assessment is recorded as a grade or numeric score, and it makes up part of the final grade. Formative assessment provides information for the learner and facilitator about student achievement in an ongoing manner. For example, after a class discussion, students and the facilitator might provide and acquire feedback about a particular topic. The class discussion might reveal that some learners are still struggling with a concept. The facilitator or peers might provide additional prompts or clarification as a form of feedback. The information that was gathered during the class discussion was used as a way to enhance the student learning rather than formally assess student achievement. Formative assessment could also be seen as a form of learning because students could be involved in providing or using feedback during the learning process. There are many ways formative assessment gathers evidence of student learning. For example, a ticket out the door activity asks students a question or for a summary. These answers provide the facilitator with information about student learning. These other examples of formative assessment help the facilitator gauge how well the students understand the material or where students are confused. This allows the facilitator to modify upcoming lesson plans or student activities so that students achieve a greater understanding of the material. Finally, student self-reflection helps them use assessment processes as a way to enhance their learning. You will begin the self-reflection process in week four as you prepare for the final assignment. We covered a lot of ground very quickly in this video. Answering these synthesis questions will help you gain a deeper understanding of why we assess. 
be prepared to share your answers to these questions in this week's tutorial. And finally, don't forget that you can find PDFs of the scripts and screenshots of all videos in our course website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the tutorial.